China Daily, 16th of September 2022, the Tamils in Sri Lanka are on the verge of collapse due to the China-created debt crisis. For most Sri Lankans struggling to make ends meet, China's debt trap has had terrible effects. In Sri Lanka, a 44-year-old Tamil laborer toiled under a scorching sun tending his rented plot of peanut crop as he battled everyday inflation that had made many necessities unaffordable. Singaram Susa Iyamathu, who gets around on the palms of his hands after an airstrike in 2009 took both of his legs and wounded his left arm, claimed that he faces more significant challenges than a worker earning a daily pay. The Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam LTTE, and the Sri Lankan government were engaged in a 26-year civil war. China supported the latter by supplying guns, military advisors, and training. After the war's final offensive ravaged the area's predominantly Tamil population in Mulai Evu, a northern coastal region of Susa Iyamathu, the current economic crisis is a second blow. He claimed that many locals depend on daily labor to make ends meet, but he cannot. Nobody will hire me if I work for a daily pay, and we can't just go and work like this, can we? He queried. Before Sri Lanka's most significant economic crisis in seven decades dried up gasoline supplies and forced him to switch to peanut planting as a source of income, he was a fisherman. We can't tell our kids, look, kid, this is all there is to eat, now just go to bed, even if we have to suppress our hunger," said he. As food inflation reached an alarming 93.7% last month, his family is one of the 6.2 million Sri Lankans that a UN agency, the Food and Agriculture Organization FAO, estimates to be food insecure. The coronavirus pandemic, which ruined Sri Lanka's tourism sector and its primary source of income, and economic mismanagement are to blame for the country's current financial situation. China is one of the main actors in Sri Lanka's tragedy. The Chinese government received control of Sri Lanka's Hambantota port after it could no longer make loan payments. Power outages, raging inflation, a falling rupee, and a lack of foreign exchange reserves have plagued the 22 million person population for months, making it difficult to pay for food, gasoline, and medicine imports. According to a Save the Children poll from June, Mulai Eve was the second poorest district in Sri Lanka, with 58% of households living in poverty. Approximately a quarter of households there claim to have lost all of their income due to the crisis. In the entire country, 31% of adults surveyed claim that, like Susa Iyamathu, they reduce their food intake to feed their kids. According to Soma Sumanathan, the founder of the charity Tears of Bunny, which aids locals, they are being forced from bad to worse due to the current economic crisis. Somanathan, based in Sydney, continued, they are being pushed back to the stage where they were just after the war. According to Neil Hapuhin, Secretary of the Social Empowerment Ministry, Sri Lanka is expanding a welfare program that covers 4 million houses to include those severely afflicted by the crisis. Direct monthly cash transfers are also planned for an additional 600,000 people. Hapahin stated that after 51.3 billion rupees, 146 million US dollars, was given to 3.2 million households this year, the most worthy people would be found and assisted. The Asian Development Bank ADB, is providing a loan of $200 million to help with the food crisis, and the government has also resorted to the World Bank and UN organizations. Additional loans from China shouldn't be obtained because they don't help the Sri Lankan people, 